If you like what you see, please hit subscribe, click the bell and select all to get all notifications. A very special thank you to all my channel members. To see what the membership has to offer, click the join button and consider becoming a fellow zombie slayer today. Hey guys and welcome back to the next trial for 19. We are playing the Darkest Falls mod. So, um, we are here at the paper mall. Our last two episodes were really awesome with luck. And now we're going to face the horde. And unfortunately, we just got the welding torch for the concrete mixer. So, we're going to have to hide out the horde over here. Now, I'm going to see if me just standing in one spot, like for example over here, will keep me safe. Obviously, the vultures are going to come for me and stuff like that. But I'm going to see if this place is going to cave in or not. If I can just wait out the horde like this in the morning, I'll be able to kill all of them. Get the XP and go from there. I don't really chance dying because I do something dumb. And usually I do a ton of stuff dumb. Now the mini bike, it seems you can still drive it around. I'm going to check this quickly. If I place this here. Wait, what? If I place it here and I climb on. You can now drive your mini bike around again on old odd night. I wonder if too many people complained and he took it out because of that. Ooh, hello, hello. Already getting some vultures over here. So at the moment, the only, prob uh, the only real threat for us is all the vultures over here. The normal zombies, spiders, all those guys, they won't be able to get to us. The only problem is, this place is going to cave in if we're not careful. All of them are going to be da right down there. So I should either block this door off. Uh, whoops, almost bumped myself down. Yeah, I just need to block this door off and also make sure that this underneath me. What is this? Okay, that's tough. Uh, so that's going to break easily. As long as this stuff is secure, we will be safe over here. And every now and then I can just fire one of these down as well if I want some XP. Or, like I said, I can wait until morning and then face them all in the morning and get all the XP then. I mean, I might be able to kill some of them now and get some nice XP. If only I had like TNT or some grenades that I might be able to use. That would have really come in handy right about now. But yeah, I'm just going to hide out the ward here, guys. I'm going to cut away. If something happens like this place caves in, then we'll cut back and face the zombies. Um, I should actually then use the mini bike because it seems we can drive away again. We want to be able to drive away and just be safe for now. Yeah, mostly, like I said, we need to watch out for this place caving in and vultures. Other than that, we should be golden. I'm just going to use this last few, uh, last few explosions over here. I should have actually waited until the morning and then grouped them up and then exploded them. At the moment, I'm just going to get some bang in before we do this. Okay, now, also, before we cut away. Ooh, those screamers are bad. Um, they might not scream. Apparently, they don't uh, scream and spawn zombies during the war, guys. But I've noticed after war, the zombies never stop because of the screamers. So we have to take those out. But we do have two skill points over here. Uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus, what does this do? Increase stamina regen 25%. Parkour. That's just for... Never get a sprained leg. Hmm. That's actually really... I want that. <laughs> I don't plan on dying. That's why I don't want to go for a health nut. But this basically just increases your um, minimum wellness. So you can't get wellness under 60 from dying too many times. Because for those of you who don't know, you can get into a seriously bad dying chain in this game. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't start going for the science then. I need two of these because we need to be able to craft different kinds of mods. And also you need these to be able to make like the, uh, the chemistry station all that stuff. If I check over here, chemistry. Chemistry station. It shows we need all this stuff. But can I make it? It seems like I can. Yay, science unlocks it. Chemistry station locks it. Um, chemistry station. Oh, nice. See, science crafting level 2, I just invested into that. If it wasn't for those two points, then I wouldn't be able to craft the chemistry station. So after this horde... Ooh, I need to stop doing that. I need to just crouch and do this. After this horde, we're going to face as many zombies as possible. Let's level up, and then we need to start building. We should be able to make about 5,000 concrete mix as soon as we have that concrete mixer down. Obviously, first we're going to have to uh, make the sand into... Uh, to, no, the stone into sand. But yeah, that's still a ton. Although... If we can just go for all the sand over there, that'll already give us enough. We won't have to turn as much stone into sand. I might just need to see. If that's going to take like a long time to convert stone to sand, I'm going to pick up the sand over there. We literally only need to do... I think we've done these as well. I need to make sure about these over here. But we uh, just need to do this one. Um, done and down. Done, down. Okay, so this all of this is done. We literally just need to do these pure eyes on this side of here and this over here. And then we're done, done, done with this whole town. Which is really awesome. That's why I wonder, should I first go and see what is at 0, zero? Uh, For those of you are wondering, 0, zero is right about here. So there should either be, like uh, that should be the mountains or massive town. Because if we clear this town, what's the point of building here? 
Although it isn't more or less central maps, so we can get everywhere from here. I need to see, I, I wonder if there's an example of what this map looks like uh, online. Because I need to be able to see where I can and can't build. Okay, now this place, it's starting to start, so I'm wondering if it's not starting to cave in somewhere. Because there's a ton of zombies. There's 32 zombies alive, and they're feral, they're nightmare speed, they're, they're just really, really powerful. So, all those zombies can seriously do some damage to a building like this. But yeah, I'm just going to quickly cut away and then see you guys in the morning. This is actually funny. This, <laughs> it's so safe up here, I actually just went for a pee break without uh, escaping, without pausing the game, and nothing happened to me. Which is really a dumb thing to do because it could have easily caved in, or a vulture could have gotten me. But anyways, um, I'm tired of waiting. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Let's really check what we can and can't do over here. I just hope there's no other way for them up here and I that I missed. I want to go down and face them a little bit more head on. It seems like they're right underneath me though. So I need to be careful. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Are they on the second floor even? I don't think... That, they haven't been able to reach the second floor yet. So if I can just kill a few zombies like this, get close and personal. And I also want to see if we can't kill the screamers at least. Because like I said guys, those guys are going to be a pain in the morning. Oh, please don't fall. Okay, only thing that can kill me right now is a cop vomit, and uh, yeah, that's about it. If there's a demolisher down there, I can perhaps explode him. Where is that scream? Where is that screamer? I can't see it. I want to kill that screamer so we don't have any problems in the morning. Also, we should technically be safe if we jump down. Unless there's like a cop that uh, tries to vomit at us or whatever, or if they stack on top of each other a lot. But other than that, it looks kind of safe down there. Uh, there's a vulture outside that we be careful of. Come on, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get the screamer. I'm gonna at least get the screamer quickly. Is there a vulture above me? Yeah, there is. Hello. And now I can't even shoot his heads properly. I forgot that vultures can get through doorways. They're clever now. They can actually get ooh, like that. Get through doorways and get very close to you. Okay, so we should be able to be safe. I don't think... I can't see them on the second level. I just hope I don't jump down then all of a sudden they are there. Spiders I'll be able to handle, but the rest, I only have 9 frames left. So if I mess this up, come on, there you go, that's wood. I just want to get as low as possible so we can take these guys on. If they start doing some serious damage to the blocks and stuff over here, I need to book it. But for now, most of them are right underneath me, so it's a shame I don't have a grenade or a rocket launcher right now. Just one of those two would have been able to do some serious damage right about now. Okay, ooh, another vulture, and you're outside at least. Although, I wonder for how long. It looks like you're going to clip through the wall. Now, we do have these. It's armor piercing rounds. Or slugs, rather, it's called. I want to see if I can't kill a few zombies this way. And the nice thing is these spread, so they should be able to do quite a bit of damage to the zombies. Please don't vomit at me while I'm standing on a wood brick. If they vomit at me right now while I'm standing here, I'm going to fall in between them, and that's going to be the end of it. Now, where's this vulture? I need to be careful, because it can easily go up and then down again. Up for the... A hatch or whatever is on top, and then down again. Come on, if I can just make that dog explode, or cops explode. I want the zombies to clear themselves out as well, especially if there's like a... Yeah, this one's going to explode. For those who don't know, those radio ones, they, they play dead, and then they stand up and explode all of a sudden. So if you hear a boom sound here now, that's the... Dog. Although it's still alive. It didn't take enough damage, I think. Ooh, what's, what's caving in right now? Something... I need to be careful. If I fall down there now, I shouldn't break a leg, but these zombies are going to be on me so fast. Especially now, they're starting to take the... Ooh, there's a bear right there. They're starting to take the building structural trick. Yeah, look at that. That structure and juggle tree right there. Oh, wow. Ooh, hello. Yeah, but since the structure and juggle tree is failing, that means the stairs are also going to go soon. So I need to kill all these zombies before that happens. Now, where the hell is that vulture? Um, I don't really want to stand on... Oh, hello. Uh, where's my AK? Wait, where are you? Wait, what? Did he go back up or did he just clip through the wall? Something just hit me. Okay, so it's not, at least it's not uneventful. <laughs> it's rather eventful. Okay, now if I can stand, yeah, I can quickly check where the vultures are. All of them are going to come to me right now, which is a good thing. You want to be able to quickly just take care of them because they're going to vomit at you. And dive bomb you. Just want to focus on the zombies over here. Oh man, a grenade would have been so awesome right now. Ooh, is that a mutated soldier? I want to say he's a little bit tall for my liking. For those of you who don't know, the mutated soldiers are a little bit to oh, taller. Come on, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? 
I hate it when I can't see something, especially these vultures. The way they dive under your field of view. Please don't cave this place in while I'm standing. Oh no, 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 no. Ooh, another vulture. Where the hell are you guys coming from? The frame rate though, the frame drop just now is so real. <laughs> I should actually be waiting inside because a vulture could easily vomit at me or do some serious damage if I'm not careful. I wonder, I, it's a shame I didn't uh, carve out that piece of stone over there. For those of you who don't know what I mean is, um, this stone, you, you can carve it out so they can't jump on it, they have to destroy it to get to you. So you can just jump on that and uh, have a different kind of view of the zombies. If I had planned this right, I could have actually made a armor via of reinforced concrete and stand outwards so I can see the zombies from a distance. At the moment, I can't. I just have to guess where they are underneath. I can't see out. I should have planned better, but hey, at least we are safe over here, more or less. Hello, hello, hello. I can just kill the bears at least. Okay, um, that's ammo. A ton of ammo wasted, but if we can kill these guys or not. At least we're getting the AK skill. Well, not the AK skill, the automatic skill. So that's really good for us. I just want to kill the bears though. We'll face all of these zombies now, but the bears and the dogs are really fast ones that can catch up to us. We need to kill before we go outside. I should be able to get nice and low over here. I just want to watch out for the vulture. Oh, for the bear, rather. Because that bear can stretch. Like a lot. Uh, don't have any explosives. Ooh, look at all these bears. And the more noise I make right now, the more screamers are going to start spawning, which is bad for us. Yeah, I have an AR over here. Let's just use it. Please don't let there be any more vultures and stuff like that at the moment. Come on. Uh, nope. I need to make sure I'm actually hitting the... There. Just now, actually, was, I was missing because I was looking at his HP. And he just waste ammo. Whoops. Stand still. I just want to see your face. I need you guys to break this for me, please. I want to be able to see you. The only problem with this gun is you have to click, 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 click because it's a semi-automatic. If it's full automatic like the AK, you can just hold it in. If I hold it in, it stops. Guys, the big problem is right now, all the noise we're making is going to call a ton of screamers. Oh, if I can make that dog explode. Stand still. Stand still. Are you going to explode? I just want to keep him on a very low HP. There you go. You should explode right now. Oh, there you go. He actually looks like a cop when he explodes because they used his animation. A cop's animation. Oh, crap. Uh, they're actually starting to break the floor underneath me, which is bad and lag. I hate it when I see lag like that because that means the uh, thing's caving in. And if it caves in on my head, we might just fall down there where all the zombies are. Man, this gun's loud. Oh, no, that was a screamer. And that's all part of the horde because there were no screamers just now left. So by the time we're done here, yeah, there's going to be too many zombies just from the screamers alone. I uh, know, let's just use a shotgun, why not? I mean, I'm, I'm, you're firing from the hip so you do spray damage. Come on, killer, killer, killer. No! The more she screams right now, the longer we're going to have to worry about zombies. At least not all of them is going to be feral, but they do start spawning more and more dogs and bears. I can't afford to take so many zombies on at once. Come on. If I can just get close to their faces. Okay, you know what? You have to go. You seriously have to go, lady. Oh, another dog. Yes, 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 yes. I need to explode them with a... Um, oh, crap. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. All sides caving in. No, 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 no. How much damage did they do? Damn. Now, this is from the screen, man. There's another one on its way. That one's dead? Oh, see, that's a feral screamer right there. Make sure you're dead. Remember that I thought that was a screamer over there spawning as well. Guys, but they just caused some serious damage over here. They caved this whole side in. It seems like. Okay, so if I can get away from here, just far enough to make more noise far away from here. At the moment, I can't see down at them. If I can stack up there, perhaps I can face them. At the moment, I can't see underneath, so that's a big problem right now. If there's no dogs, I might be able to do something. But if there's dogs, and even just one more bear left, I'm going to have a hard time killing them. Please don't cave in while I'm here. Please don't cave in. I want to loot all these bags, but I can't. The moment I jump down there, I'm going to get swamped. And the longer it takes me to kill these zombies and dogs, the worse it gets. Come on, dog, explode for me. Hey, you're gonna explode. You should explode right now. There you go, there you go, there you go. Ooh, I just thought I dropped. Ooh, I thought I dropped. Now, you see, this is from streamers. There's just way too many zombies left. This is not from the horde. So I wonder if I should just leave. 
I'm going to level up one more time from killing zombies and then we're going to leave. I mean, we just need one more uh, point anyways. Technically, we should level up as much as possible. But you don't want to die. Okay, so I wonder if I shouldn't try. Let's see what happens if I break this out. Man, this lag right now though is killing me. I want to be able to see them over here and this is the best way to do that. Please don't fall in between them, John. If I do, I just need to uncrouch and run. Just run. Oh crap, I don't know how much XP that dog has left. If too many of them explode on top of each other, I'm going to have a problem, man. You should explode right now. Come on, please explode. Nice. The more they explode, the more damage they do to their friends, the more I can actually get away from you. Or the faster I'll be able to get away. No, anyway, I'm just going to run. This is going to keep on or I'll keep on going forever. So, the concrete mixture should be done. Let's go check on that quickly. Oh, I could just do this. Yeah, I almost forgot about this. They will be able to stack on each other. But at least... Oh, look at all those zombies. Yeah, they're definitely going to be able to stack. I need to be careful of this. I should be able to kill quite a few of them like this. The problem is going to be, yeah, they're going to stack on top of each other. You're dead. I should have actually set him up to explode on his friends. Oh, crap. There's just way too many zombies left. This is not part of the horde. This is definitely part of the screamers that just screamed. Just one or two screamers is enough to do this to you. Okay, so I need to put my bike down and just go. But I want to be able to get back here as well because we still have a ton of loot over there that I want to loot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, let's put this down, climb on. Ooh, okay, so we need to lead them away from there. They should, since it's not Horde Knights anymore, just forget about me soon. Let's just make sure. I don't want to drive away. If I drive around stuff and they're still on me, then I know there's a big problem in my hands. Okay, that was definitely way more intense than I thought it was going to be. But just please tell me I can loot some of those bags over there. There might be some really important loot over here and I can't loot it or can't get to it. Wait, what? There's still so many. Uh, the only real problem for me at the moment is Night Stalk. Because the rest I should be able to knife. I wonder if I can't just do this quickly. Just in case they decide to run after me. See, the Night Stalkers are just running all over. They don't know what to do. But the rest of the zombies over here... Oh, wow. This place got wrecked. Okay, they're all walking away. I should actually try and see if I can't pick them all from the behind one at a time. I mean, XP. Oh, wow. Just killing this one zombie or attacking this one zombie alerted all of them just now. That is bad for me. Okay, stamina. No, this way. Oh, they realized that was a full block just now. That's bad for me. Okay, so, um, more ferals. You guys can bleed out. I just want your XP. So if you can bleed out for me, I'll get your XP and everything will be good. Hello. I thought I heard something from this side. Okay, so the frame rate's slowly but surely returning, although it's still very, very slow. I need to be careful that I don't get caught off guard by something tough. Oh, come on, you should die. Now, uh, lucky little goggles. Please, 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 please. Although these weren't boss zombies. There's still a Night stalk over there, though. If I can kill a Night Stalker, that's going to be way more XP for us. Because they're technically boss zombies. Boss level zombies. Okay, come on guys. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm right here. There you go. I don't want to call too many of them and the Night Stalker. Because Night Stalker already... Uh, these guys you hit, they stumble backwards. A Night Stalker doesn't do that. They just keep forging ahead and then you have a problem on your hands later. Come on, jump. I know you want to jump. There you go. And... Headshot. There you go. Okay, so all of these are still feral, it seems, from the horde. I think they're definitely still feral from the horde, so I need to be careful. Usually they stop... No, no, they keep being feral, they just slow down. But ferals are fast, so... Oh yeah, he's a tough one. I was like, why is he not dying? His name is Tough Zombie. I need to check the name before I kill it as well. The tough ones got... Ooh, he just knocked me back. Um, the tough ones are really, really annoying because they take so many hits before they die. You know, where is... I think that Night Stalker despawned. That's good for us. Yeah, where are you, though? You're running around. What are you doing? Make up your mind. You are just Feral Bloated. So I should be able to kill you easy. Or relatively easy, though. If you were a tough Feral Bloated, then that would be an entirely different thing. Okay, so unfortunately, we didn't really get a ton of bags. We got some XP. I think we leveled, like, three times. Uh, if we're lucky. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was more than one. 
But yeah, guys, this place, I thought it was holding up nicely, but damn. The only thing really keeping this up still is one or two frames over here, which I could destroy on my own. Um, this doorway over here. Technically, anyway, there was a door. That also helps keep the stuff up for now. But as soon as those one or two blocks above the door space disappears, this whole place is going to cave in. Now, that's also why we're getting so much stuttering in the horde. Stuff like that really causes a ton of lag. Okay, so we should get the sand over here as soon as possible. I mean, we have the concrete mixer now, so I just want to grab the sand first. I should actually go put the concrete mixer in production first. Uh, but I think let's just grab the sand first because we're going to need the sand anyways. Then we know exactly how much sand we need to make compared to what we don't have. I, even I just confused myself right now. Basically, I just want to make sure exactly how much stone I need to turn to sand. I don't want to put too much stone in and then we waste that stone. I'd rather see how much sand we can get from these piles over here and then go from there. And also, I'm not going to pick up the bottom. You can go for the bottom block over there, but that's just too much digging. So we'll go for the top layer there, the top layer there, and then we'll go back to the base. And done. Okay. So I also went and I just took um, the herbal antibiotics because I remembered that I got infected during the ward. Um, also, I dismantled the cement mixer and the saw table over there. Um, also, like I said, guys, this layer over here, that's also sand, but it's going to take too much time. I'll rather go back and craft the rest and then finish looting this whole place. I mean, we are so far already. We're so close to clearing this whole town. I just don't know if I want to make my final base here or in the next town. So I think we'll, we'll put in the resources. I mean, we already started upgrading a few blocks over here, but that's fine. Um, we're going to forget all about this town as soon as we are out of it. Um, well, that's if we don't build over here. But what I want to do quickly, let's just see if I can... There's nothing in there. Um, what I want to do is, I want to pick that up. Just want to put all the resources in so long at least, so that's cooking. Ward stuff should actually also always stay here. I don't know why I grabbed the pistol. I only wanted one magnum, one pistol, but I ended up grabbing everything. We need to repair all of that stuff, and we need to make sure that this is in the correct order. Okay, so it's shovel, axe, no, no, shovel, pick, and then axe. I'll pick over there, and then these. I need to make myself some more of these ramp uh, frames, guys. If we're out there and something happens, I'll need to be able to just quickly stack up against something. And as it stands right now, that's never going to happen. I wonder if I should make more concrete mixes. I think this is going to take way too long if I just use one. I'll start with one and then just work my way up. I, I think we have enough resources. No, we need more forged. Um, I almost forgot about it. We need 25 forged to make one. So I can put that in, into production so long so that it helps out. Now, cement over here. I'm so glad that I picked up all the resources as we were going. And do we have any more skill points to put into quicker crafting? Especially since we're going to need to be able to craft as fast as possible. That is play level 40. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Labor over here. This is workbench. I wonder if a concrete mixer unlocks mining helmet recipe. That's uh, It should be a forge or a workstation. One of the two. I just want to make sure that we actually get faster crafting times with this. So that is 2,400 something over there. But we don't have enough sand. So if I do this quickly, we can just put the sand over here. Put the stone over here. Where did I put the rest of the stone? Yeah, I thought I had more. Okay, so we have 2,000, right? So if I put these together, or oh, 6,000 rather. If I put these together, that should, should almost, that should actually be a little bit more than we need with the sand. But that should give us more than enough time. Ooh, 14 minutes. Ooh, that sucks. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here then. Uh, 6,000. 1, 2, 3. Ooh, we can't even put all of the stuff in there. And the sand's going to be more than... Oh, but at least the sand stacks to 6k. Damn, I thought I might be able to drop all the stuff in there. So for now, we'll just do this. Um, we are waiting for the sand to finish. We need to grab some more clay. At least we have a ton of clay now, so I don't have to worry too much. We can make 25, right? More than enough. Yeah, definitely. So I just want to make sure we get at least 25 forged iron. So we can make another concrete mixer, and it can have a help over here. By the time this finishes, we need to uh, make concrete mix in two different ones. And also, we have one more skill... No, I used all my skill points. I could have sort of leveled twice, but it seems I only leveled once. Anyways, okay, so we have to quickly do some inventory sorting. Go right back. Oh, there's all my clay. I was wondering why it's a little clay. I had to scrap the cooking... Oh, uh, well, cooking pots. The potted plants over here. And I was like, I could have sworn I had more clay. And I definitely had more clay. <laughs> okay, so for now, we can put this away. We need chest armor, like crazy. 
I want to be able... Oh, we can't read this. We already have an active one. Um, I want to actually put the Bandolian mod on, especially since we're starting to use more guns now. We need to be able to reload as fast as we can. Why do I have so much forged? So I do have forged iron. So all I then need is to grab myself some mechanical parts, an engine, and some spring, right? I wonder how many can I make? Should I make two more or one more? I just need more forged iron then. At the moment, I'll only be able to obviously make one more, but I mean, that's definitely... Oh, and look at that. That used to be like three minutes something. Now it's two minutes twelve. Just because I invested in that one skill point. Okay, so now we have a problem. Uh, we are a little bit too full over here. So I'm going to have to definitely make a box for weapons and a box for ammo. But we need a bigger base as well. That's why I said, I wonder... As soon as we're done clearing this whole place, I'm going to first go check what's out there and then decide whether I want to build my base here or there. At the moment... Yeah, we've really cleared out. We've done a lot of work, but this town's almost done. There's no point staying in this town if we're not going to be able to use this town properly. Okay, building supplies. We'll just drop this stuff for now. Uh, springs and... Why not? Let's just drop this here too. Okay, so I want to make myself at least two more concrete mixes. So let's hope all of that finishes. Although I need way more wood. Let's just put all of that in there. Why not? We can always just grab more of here. I have so much wood, but I'm just too lazy to make it. We'll make a hundred. Then I can use it as fuel, or I can use it to stack up whichever I need in that moment. Okay, so food. Water. We have healing. Uh, that's an abrasion, so we need this one, right? Abrasion healing speed. So that should fix the abrasion. I think that's an abrasion. Was that a cut? Stop bleeding. We're not bleeding. Okay. Anyways, uh, the rest of the stuff we need to drop downstairs because that's ward related. Like so. Technically, if you break your leg, that's all ward related. But, I mean, at, at least we know where it is. It's in the same spot. Ooh, it's day 15, right? The trader should then have... Yeah, the, we should go check the trade out. The trader reset, so it's definitely worth checking out then. Also, I need to go... Oh, I didn't grab all my gas. I need to make sure the bike is always refilled. Uh, refueled. Refill, refill. You, you refill it. Or you fill it up, but you refuel it. Ugh. Okay, so, yeah. We need to still take this door out just in case we live here. Because this place is going to get overrun. Every single wood night, this place is going to get overrun. So, I wonder. Let's buy... Every time we come across for frag rockets, we'll buy them. Because later, we're definitely going to need it during a horde. Or as soon as we have the rocket launcher. Now, let's see. Uh, blueberry, meat stew, why not? That's food. Gunpowder. What do you have for me? I should actually check if I don't have any military chest pieces in that box. Because I might just have a chest piece that I can wear, even if it's a crap quality, at least as a chest piece. Damn, this guy never has anything good. I need... Oh, you know what, I'm going to buy this. Just a few shotgun rounds, because I wasted so many on the uh, that one bear in the bear den. I could technically... How much is this? 4,000. No, that's too much. Honestly, I could technically buy that, but... Uh, ooh, military vest. Speaking of chest piece. Okay, so these I'll sell for now. I should keep them for later, but for now I don't. I really don't need them, so I'll rather sell them and later, when I come across them again, I'll grab them again. Okay, so the chest piece we have to wear. Uh, ammo, I could buy all this ammo now, but I really don't want to waste too much cash on ammo and stuff like that. I want to make my own. But let's hope we'll buy. Where's the casings? I just saw... Yeah, there you go, casings. And then over here, we have stone... If I can get more stone and sand over here, we have the, the cement to make more. Can I make an auger? Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this. If I can just buy 10, that should give us enough at the base right now to make two more cement mixes. Like two more, uh, including the one, we, uh, no, excluding the one we're already making, so four total. Because then we'll just divide everything by four and we're going to have so much more loot so much faster. Is this an abrasion? Treated abrasion, okay, cool. It just, it, it, the time didn't go down, or it's going down very, very slowly. Okay, so that goes there, that goes there. Uh, I need another box for that now. I wonder if I shouldn't just drop ammo and tools and everything together just for now. And also, we need the bandolier mod to go on the chest piece over here. And then we get wear the chest piece. So, guys, we, we have now a full armor set, but look at the crappy items and the crappy quality. The only good quality is the football helmet, and that's not even an iron helmet or steel helmet. So we really need to see if we can't get better loot. Which means we might just need to start specking into uh, Lucky Looter. We definitely, definitely need Lucky Looter right now. It's 24. I need one more. Just one more. Come on. 
You know what? No, I'm going to buy a few more. We have the cash. Uh, there's nothing else I want to buy from the trader. So if I could just get enough uh, of those forged iron pieces, we might be able to make three more concrete mixes. Like we have one. I need to make three more, basically. Uh, let's see. Please, 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 please. Don't be too expensive when I do this now. Uh, let's buy... 30. That's 900. Let's see how much is... Yeah, 1,000. Let's go 35. Why not? So there's no stone. Well, there's stone, but there's no sand and stuff, right? I just will go mining for stone because it, it's actually surprising me how fast I can get stone. It's really not that hard to get. Okay, we just need to go into like looter from now on a bit. We need better loot or better quality at least. We just don't to get some good items. It's just the quality on the items is really, really low. And I think, guys, the next place I'm going to make is going to be floor level, not on the sky. Or it's going to be in the sky, but a double layer floor. So I can have the boxes in the floor. It's just going to open up the room a bit more, being able to have everything in the floor. I've never actually put boxes in the floor before, so it's going to be a weird experience. Okay, so there's one over here, one crafting, so I need two more. Ooh, that one's done. Nice. Need this. We need two engines and mechanical parts. So that's two more concrete mixes. Nice. So in four minutes' time, we'll have four of these. And then by the time the sand is done, which is also coincides with this over here, we'll be able to make concrete mix. Now, I wonder if I shouldn't, while we have this one over here, just make as much concrete mix as possible. And then as soon as we have all four, just stop the concrete mix and go from there. So I'm going to do this. That's going to craft so long. And like I said, as soon as the others are done, we'll just stop the production in the one and divide it between the four. Building supplies, coins you should put away. I need to actually go to all the vending machines I know and just see if I can't get some more food. I mean, if we can get way more of this food, that's going to help us in the long run. That's locked. Just want to see if there's nothing else over here we can perhaps make. No. Bacon and eggs? No. I want to start saving the eggs. We need to also see if we can't make a chemistry station. Um, so let's just quickly do this. Dump all. Chemistry station requires what again? Chemistry station. One beaker. We should have a beaker. Yeah, we have three. Uh, it needs three cooking pots. We have way too many. What else? Ooh, 100 forged iron. Now, that's the one thing we, not, we don't have at the moment. What I could do, though, is just put that in production. So, I need to make 100 more. Damn, that's expensive. That's truly, truly expensive. Okay, I'm just going to put all the fuel in there, then. So, hopefully, the screamers die on the spikes over here. But for now, that means we can't make the concrete mixer, unfortunately. Or rather, the, the chemistry station. I mean, 100 forged iron. Damn. But you guys, if you like just like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback that I miss anything guys think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. I think I just messed that up. But anyways, <laughs> see you guys next time.